University of the South Pacific journalism students and staff were briefed by multimedia specialist Tudor Jalescu about the workings of social media and how fake news played a pivotal role in the weaving of misinformation. Well, fake news, it's here and it's here to stay. There, there are tools that the social media platforms are implementing to combat, but social media is here and it's, it's definitely used. Uh, more and more uh, as a source of news, uh, as a source of communication, of uh, spreading out opinions and information. So reporters should be aware and should have a presence in social media. USP Television Journalism Course Coordinator Olivier Jetel stressed the important role such information played in the contribution towards a more efficient Pacific mainstream media industry. So one of the challenges with journalism's uh, going online predominantly is establishing essentially, you know, what are good sources of information, you know, what's credible reporting, uh, how can we use the speed of new social media platforms, user-generated content to enhance our reporting while still retaining uh, a kind of journalistic authority to be able to give people as close to objective facts as possible. While such an issue may seem more prevalent in overseas mainstream media, first-year journalism student Epeli Lalangavesi hopes he will implement key lessons learned during Mr. Jalescu's guest lecture. One of the hard things is trying to figure out like which news source is actually reliable, but then the other thing we must also consider is whether these stories are actually reported on mainstream media. That is why people are using social media to put this. But then reliability of the source uh, is of big question. The USP Journalism Department hopes to tackle the issue of fake news in its early stages before sending its cadet journalists out into the mainstream media. This is Salatin Galumbal for One Solwara TV.